Hey folks and welcome back and in today's video we'll be looking at how you can set up the assist pipeline and have Piper, Whisper and Open Wakeword running as containers on a different machine. So in my previous video that I've linked somewhere here as well as into the description below I had shown you how you can set up the assist pipeline to run these add-ons to invoke home assistant using the Wakeword. Now that's the simplest mechanism that you can use to actually do this in home assistant but now if you are interested in running the containers then this is the video that you can follow so today we'll be seeing how you can set up this assist pipeline and have these containers running using docker compose and then finally we will invoke home assistant to actually turn on a particular light using the wake word hey jarvis so with this let's get started So now since you have decided to actually use the docker containers so that you can actually use this voice assist feature from home assistant we will look at setting up these three components so we will need piper whisper and open wakeword being running for us we need piper actually for text to speech whisper for speech to text and then finally we need open wakeword to actually detect the wakeword that we have configured so let's first actually go ahead and look at how we can set up these three containers. So I have this particular server which is running a more powerful CPU and it's this server that I'm connecting using SSH. Now it doesn't have to be a server as such, it can be your own machine on which you are actually running these containers. You don't need like a specialized server but I have one so I'm using that. So you can run all of these containers even on your own laptop which has a more powerful CPU and then use it with Home Assistant also. So today assuming that you may be running this on your system or on a server, let's look at how you can actually run the docker containers. So I have this docker compose file here. In this docker compose file, I have three services. So I have the open wake word, then I have piper here and then I have whisper here. So this is the whisper configuration. Now I'm separating this using this comment line here so that it's easier for you all to kind of understand. And these are the different services. So let's look at the open wake word configuration. So I have this image, which is the home assistant official add-on that I'm actually running and I'm using the latest image. This is the container name that I have given. And this is the entry point that I'm kind of overriding. So I'm overriding this particular command and this is what I'm giving. So I'm specifying that I'll be running this at port 1040. And then what I'm doing is I'm actually exposing that port 1040 so that I can actually connect to this container that is an open way container using Home Assistant. And then I have these certain volumes. So I have these volumes wherein all the data from the container are actually going to be stored on my local machine itself. So this is a folder that will be created and it will be mapped into this inside the container. Similarly, I have this for Piper here and I'm overriding it with this values here. Now, if you actually want to know what are these values for this, what you will have to do is you will need the configurations from the Home Assistant OS. So today I'll actually show you how actually this looks like from the add-ons. So let me go to this add-on here and we were looking at Piper. So let's go to Piper here. And then in this configuration section, you have these various values here. So I am actually using these values exactly here, as you can see. So this is the URI that is not required here. But for example, the noise scale, I'm using it from here. These are the default values. So you can just work with these values. You don't have to change. But if you would like to change, you can change it based on these values from here. So you can put these values here, max number of CPU processors. I have kept it as one, like how it is here. Then the noise scale value here, these are all put in here. Now, if you want, you can change this, but you can already just copy and paste this. I will give this entire Docker Compose file into my blog, which I will link into the description below. So you don't have to copy it from the screen. You can just copy it from that particular blog. So now this was for Piper. The same thing is for Whisper. So Whisper has this particular model that you need to specify. I have given it tiny int 8. Let me actually go to the Whisper here and look at the configuration. And as you can see, there are quite many models here that you can use. I have used right now tiny int 8. 
that is fine for now i might change it to a medium int 8 and let's see how the performance works later as of now i just started it off so i'm using the tiny int 8 one so with this i'm actually running whisper at 10300 i'm running piper at 10200 and then finally i'm running open wake word at 10400 so now we will actually connect these containers to our home assistant os now you can also run home assistant as a container on this machine and connect it locally that is also fun you can do that but because we'll be using the usb microphone i could not connect this usb microphone to my server and then use it from there because it's in a different room i am running home assistant os right now on this raspberry pi and i've connected the microphone to that but now to use a microphone you need an add-on that you need to run so for this what we will do is we need to go back to our add-ons here and in this add-on section you will have to install this assist microphone now this assist microphone i have already installed and started it for us but you need to give it some configuration so let me explain this particular configuration here so first of all you need to give the home assistant os token here so you need to create a token from your profile here and then you need to select the voice activity detector i'm right now using this one because i'm running this one a raspberry pi and this one uses less cpu so i'm using this particular option the remaining options are default when you install that particular add-on you get these default values i'm just keeping those and then i save them here and then finally i'm actually selecting that particular usb microphone actually so this is the usb microphone that i've connected to my raspberry pi right now and it has detected it here so you need to select this and then click on save so now it will actually ask me to restart it because i have changed the configuration here now and let's go ahead and see so it is right now already running but we haven't configured the part about the three containers in a home assistant so for this you'll have to go to settings go to devices and services and then what you'll have to do is click on this add integration and search for this yoming protocol that is wy yoming protocol and now here you will have to specify the ip address of your machine on which you are running this docker compose file so let me actually first run this docker compose file so for this i'm going to run docker compose up and this will actually start running the docker compose file so now as you can see the docker compose file is running here piper open wake word and whisper are all ready over here right so now these docker containers are running actually on my server and the ip address to my server is right now so this is the ip address that i'm adding off my server right now and now what i'm going to do i'm going to give the port numbers one by one so so let me first put the port number so 10200 and i'm going to click on submit and piper was configured with this now the next configuration that we're going to do is we are going to put in open wake word so let's go to the yoming protocol again and then i'm going to put in the ip address again and now i'm putting the port for the open wake word so with this open wake word is now configured let me click finish and i'm going to now do the last one that is for whisper so yoming protocol i'm going to paste the ip address and i'm going to give the whisper port so with this whisper is now configured let's actually look at this thing you can see this yoming protocol here and as you can see all the three container connections are all done here so now this is how we have connected our containers to home assistant for all the three components next what we are going to do let's look at our pipeline actually so we need to go back to our settings here and we need to go to our voice assistant and then let's open this particular pipeline right now. now in this particular pipeline here i have some things that i need to configure so first of all i need to configure the speech to text so i am selecting this whisper and i'm going to keep the language as english then for text to speech i'm going to select piper from here and then i'm going to keep the language as e and us and this particular voice here and then finally for the wake word i'm using open wake word here so i'm going to select this here and for a wake word we are going to use hey jarvis i like this particular wake word so let's use this wake word right now so i'm going to update this right now and we have this particular pipeline being set up so now what we need to do is we need to actually just start speaking to our home assistant 
So I have this another window open here for home assistant. I'm going to now separate it out and now to debug things that if things are going well or not, what we are going to do is I'm going to rearrange these particular windows to see what the outputs are. So give me a second for this. So now I have arranged my windows a bit so that I can show you the logs of the Docker containers, show you the debugging output from our pipeline as well as what happens for this particular light when we invoke the particular wake port. So first thing what we are going to do is we are going to see how actually our um, assist microphone add-on is actually working. So for this, I'm going to go to my settings right now. So I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to my add-ons and in my add-ons, I'm going to search for this assist microphone here. And then here in my configuration, I have actually enabled debug logging. So this debug logging option is on. That's the reason I'm going to see debug logs here. So let's look at this logs. So I'm going to refresh this right now. So when you actually see this waiting for speech is right now what it's in the face that it's actually trying to listen to some voice from a microphone input. And then afterwards it invokes a pipeline to detect actually your wake word. And then afterwards it will do the part about converting your voice to text. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to refresh it and I'm going to keep a little bit silent so that it doesn't trigger it again. Hey Jarvis, turn on the light. So as you can see, this particular light is now turned on and inside my Docker container, this is the output that the whisper has converted. So it has detected my voice and then after it's converted into text as turn on the light. Now let's actually try turning it off. Hey Jarvis, turn off the light. There we go. So we have now this actually working with a USB microphone that I've connected to my home assistant OS. Now, since the pipeline is still running on a home assistant OS and this home assistant OS is running on a Raspberry Pi, there's a small delay in the execution. So that's the reason whenever I gave the command, Hey Jarvis, I had to wait for a second to actually give my actual command that is turn off the light if you give it immediately right now so it will go again to the phase of trying to see if you are giving the wake word again if you are running home assistant on a powerful machine i don't think so this should be a problem it should work all fine and that's the reason i have actually moved my raspberry pi setup of home assistant to my server now i'm actually migrating all of that to my server so that actually the server which has a more powerful cpu can actually run home assistant and this pipeline really quickly. Now this I'm running using the home assistant OS on my Raspberry Pi and I've connected the USB microphone to it. But that's not practical enough, right? We need something wireless. So soon I'll be actually creating this particular device using ESP32 and a microphone such that I can actually have this placed anywhere in my room and then afterwards I can call home assistant using the wake word and trigger actions. So I have ordered the parts, it's still on the way. So once they are come, I will actually create a video about that setup also. So make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as a bell button to get notified once the video is out. So with this, I hope you were able to set up the assist pipeline using Piper, Whisper and Open Wake Word running as Docker containers using Docker Compose. Now, in my next video, I'll be showing you how you can use an ESP32 with a microphone to invoke Home Assistant using this wake word and then I can keep this ESP32 anywhere into the room. So make sure to hit this particular like button as well as hit that subscribe button to know once the video comes out. Till then, take care and I will see you in my next one.